Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime with the Princess. I'm not exactly a princess, I'm more of a scavenger, but I thought we could read Star Wars, a little book, golden book collection, and the story is called Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, war rages between the Separatist Army and the Galactic Republic. Evil General Grievous and his droid army have just captured Chancellor Palpatine, leader of the Galactic Senate. The brave Jedi Knights Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker blast off in their starfighters to rescue him. With the help of their astromech droid R2-D2, Anakin and Obi-Wan evade the Separatist vulture droids and land in General Grievous's flagship. Obi-Wan and Anakin find the Chancellor and the Separatist leader Count Dooku. Whoosh! Dooku attacks with his crimson lightsaber. Obi-Wan is knocked aside, but Anakin defeats Dooku on his own. Before the Jedi are able to complete their rescue mission, General Grievous and his bodyguard droids appear. Obi-Wan and Anakin fight bravely, but their battle is interrupted when the battleship starts to break apart. Grievous flees in an escape pod. With the amazing piloting skills that Anakin has, Anakin crash lands the badly damaged battleship on the planet Coruscant. Another happy landing, Obi-Wan declares with a smile. The Chancellor is saved. Anakin is soon reunited with his wife, Padme Amidala. She has wonderful news. She's going to have a baby. Anakin is so happy, but... He has terrible nightmares that something bad is going to happen to the, pad to the baby and Padme. Meanwhile, the war is escalating throughout the galaxy. Jedi Master Yoda speaks to the planet Kashyyyk. He speeds to the planet Kashyyyk to help the Wookiees battle the Separatist droid army. He fights alongside a Wookiee named Chewbacca. Obi-Wan Kenobi travels to the planet Utapau to capture General Grievous, riding a lizard-like creature called a Veractal, Obi-Wan leads a Republic clone army to stop the evil droid commander. Grievous surprises Obi-Wan with four twirling lightsabers. During the furious fight, the Jedi is disarmed, but Obi-Wan uses the force to grab a blaster. Zap! He destroys the cruel droid commander. Back on Coruscant, Chancellor Palpatine tells Anakin a terrible secret. Palpatine is really Darth Sidious, the evil Sith Lord. He is the true leader of the Separatist army and the mastermind behind the attacks on the Republic. Anakin prepares to capture Darth Sidious until the villain promises to teach the young Jedi how to keep Padme safe and sound. The leader of the Jedi Council, Mace Windu, tries to arrest Darth Sidious, but Anakin stops the Jedi Master. He wants to learn how to save Padme. Anakin kneels before his new master after the Sith Lord sends Mace Windu crashing through a window. You shall be known as Darth Vader, Darth Sidious tells his new apprentice. Darth Vader is sent off on his first wicked mission to destroy the Jedi and the Temple. Darth Sidious gives a secret command all across the galaxy. His loyal clone army begins to destroy the remaining Jedi. On Kashyyyk, clone troopers turn on Yoda. He fights back and flees in an escape pod. Obi-Wan barely gets away from his clone attackers on Utapau. He returns with Master Yoda. Darth Sidious goes before the Senate. He declares that the Republic will now be the first galactic empire. He will be its one and only leader for life, the Emperor Palpatine. Obi-Wan knows Anakin has turned to evil and must be stopped. He stows away on Padme's ship as she flies to her husband. On the volcanic planet Mustafar, Padme sees what Anakin has become. You're breaking my heart, Padme tells her husband. Obi-Wan and Darth Vader begin a dangerous duel above the rivers of flowing lava. Sparks fly as their lightsabers cross again and again. Finally, Obi-Wan strikes Anakin and sends him tumbling into the lava below. 
I hate you, Anakin cries. Saddened that he had to destroy his friend, Obi-Wan leaves the planet with Padme. Across the galaxy, Yoda confronts the Emperor. The Jedi Master and the Sith Lord begin an epic battle between the light and dark sides of the Force. But the Emperor's evil attack is too great, and for mighty Yoda, he ended up defeated. Then the tiny Jedi escaped and goes into hiding on the swamp planet Dagobah. Padme gives birth to two babies, a boy and a girl, before perishing a broken, of a broken heart. She names them Luke and Leia. A senator named Organa agrees to take Leia to Alderaan. He and his wife will raise the girl as their own. Emperor Palpatine rescues the burned and battered Anakin from the lava. Medical droids encase him in a robotic suit to save his life. His scarred face is hidden behind a black helmet. He begins to breathe. Darth Vader lives. Obi-Wan brings baby Luke to the desert planet of Tatooine. Anakin's stepbrother, Owen Lars, will raise the child, but Obi-Wan will always watch over him. The Jedi knows that when Luke is ready, he'll bring a new hope to the galaxy. <laughs>